cancers what do you what do you pick up on the cancers oh cancers are having a rough time right now with relationships um with relationships and i it's overall too i you know cancers i love them they're they're a little behind a little bit sometimes yep. <laughs> when it comes to things and 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 that's not a bad thing um because we need to Aquarians need someone to help to help as we evolve. We need someone that we can help to evolve. So, um, but cancers bring so much to the table when it comes to you know, emotional perspectives that they are the last ones to wake up and realize that. So, I think the summer of love for them is going to be chaotic, <laughs> mm -hmm. unexpected, and yeah. very almost like they're pulled in so many different directions in a sense that they can't make up their minds. Um, and so I think that's necessary for them because it's really forcing how to control their emotions when it comes to interests and romantic interests and allowing them to be selective. Cancers are good at co connecting with one individual and going with it, not saying I yep. have this cool person, this cool person, this cool person. So they're going to say, oh, my God, I have to really kind of make up my mind here and be logical for a moment about my emotions. So that's going to mm. be a really good, I would say, transition for cancers who are seeking relationships. Um, those who are in relationships, you know, unfortunately, I really feel, a, a, you know, relationships ending in summer, actually, for cancers. Yep. Mm -hmm. um and really kind of long-term relationships kind of taking the toll that's need to take a toll so um it's almost like i said before that you know we've all been kind of in this disposition of 2024 of ending those relationships Gem uh, cancers are kind of still in them and so the summertime they're going to get rid of them as we have before previously so mm. um and i i think you know that's a good thing it's i, I feel the like cancer is having a, an exhale on this like Oh my God, it's done. I feel so good about this. You know, so it's actually going to be a, a great relief for them in the summertime, those who are in those relationships. Um, not everybody who's in relationships can experience that, but just being more generalized because there's so many different variables. We can't address all of that. And then those who are not seeking relationships or not in relationships, I feel like, you know, um, they're really going to be more with their personality. So those who want to be in television, those who want to be doing a podcast and be be seen, do it. It's time to be shown. It's time to show personality. So yeah. I think that that can come as so many variables. If you're looking for that promotion, go for it. If you're looking for that, you know, sense of being recognized, get it. So to me, the summertime is great for those cancers who want recognition. Get on it um, and show that personality. Agreed. The astrology. So you're I 100% agree with you, Scott. The astrology agrees as well. First of all, cancer should have broken up about a year ago. So they're <laughs> way late. <laughs> we love you guys. I love my cancer. They're still so hanging much. on. Yeah. They're codependent addicts in that sense. Jupiter is going in their 12th house. So I kind of feel I see it different for cancer men and cancer women. For cancer men, I think they're going to lose their teddy bear. Like cancer men tend to be moody and hold on to their woman and sort of, and I think those women are going to leave. So I think cancer men will be left. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think cancer women will do the leaving. That's sure. my prediction. Makes like, sense. <laughs> that's kind of where they're at. Makes sense. I do think cancer women, I have more of you for them because Jupiter's going there 12. I think they got some past life Romeos that need to wake them up and remind them of how sexy they sure. are. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So I actually am predicting hot summer fleeting affairs for cancers. That's, Makes that's sense. My, which is a past life Roman lover. You forgot about him. You got right. caught up in the narcissist for a few <laughs> lifetimes. Remember this guy from Rome? He right. wasn't smart, but boy, he was good in bed. I think he's coming back for another round. I Remember think Joseph Mary? Yeah. <laughs> It's just to shake them awake. I just think cancer women need to be kind of shaken awake. I yeah. agree. Joe Beer just moved out of their house of society. So it is time for them to bloom in the world. It's time for them to play, find their place in the world. I completely agree. I do predict, though, that cancers are going to find their groove. There was like a yeah. movie where someone got their groove back. That's yeah, sort of that cancers, is. I think. I think <laughs> cancer men will be alone, unfortunately, like not necessarily, but they sort of need, I think cancer men have been putting their emotions on their partners and they have to be left with their emotions right before they're going to be anything sexy right sure. like they they've got to learn how to um kind of clean up those puddles on their own sure. and then they're going to be amazing macho you right. know cancer when can cancer men are very very macho you know mm -hmm. but they've sort of fallen into their in in some of their pity party to some degree right. not all but some but i do predict when pluto goes back to capricorn in september um there could be a chance just when cancer got their groove back i wouldn't put it past the ex calls them up and begs right. them back. So right. be careful, cancer. There will be one more yes. beg back. Right. Where you have where you're tested to fall for it one last time. Right. Uh, stay strong. Right. We'll be here for you. <laughs> true. <laughs> Very true. And now, and if you're a gay cancer, gay cancer male, you're somewhere in between all that. <laughs> yeah, I would say. 
Yeah, gay cancer men are interesting. They're like they're macho, but they also cook. Right. <laughs> like they have it all. They also cry and they also leave and pout and yeah, they do the same. Yeah, and they can be moody. You don't want to piss yes. them off. And don't let them and as a gay man, I know I've had that experience. So I know yeah. a couple of gay cancer men. Yeah, and they're like yeah, and too many drinks goes too far. We'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> it's serious.